Good morning, good morning, Kingdom King and Priest Peter Spencer. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Today, I want to read to you John chapter 8, starting at verse 31, and the reasons wise. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided ever. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. The word is already blessed, my brother, sister. So with that being said, let's go to the throne of grace this morning. Holy Heavenly Father, we repent of our sins and our iniquities. And God, we ask right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you will hear this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We love you. We thank you. We bless your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name, amen. Who the Son says free is free indeed. Jesus Christ, for you are the Son of God the Son of Man, and the only begotten Son. So today we come for that freedom in you, Christ Jesus. It is what we base ourselves on the death, the burial, the resurrection, the accession, and the intercession of you. To the Holy Father, the Lamb of God, who came to wash us from the sins of the world with your blood, we come to you today to be cleansed with refiner soap and the refiner refiner fire that will be made spiritually pure and all impurities be purged out of us. No generational curses no generational contracts, no generational provision, no generational lack, no generational impoverished, no generational eating habits, no generational perversion, no generational mental health issues, no generational fleshy ideas, and no generational mindsets causing us to not reach higher height, but your kingdom come, your will be done. Freedom, we seek, and not the freedom of the flesh, but the freedom in the spirit, for a carnal mind is hostile against God, but a spiritual mind is life and peace. So lead and guide us with the Holy Ghost, Jesus the Christ. Fill us with your light, Jesus the Christ. Let our eyes be full of light. For Jesus the Christ, you are the light of men. Jesus Christ, the I am, the way, the truth, and the life. For we cannot come to the Father but by you, Christ Jesus. So we come and ask and seek and knock for righteous freedom and abundant life. For Christ Jesus, you came to set the captives free because you are anointed to preach the gospel to the poor. You were sent to heal the broken heart, to proclaim liberty to the captive, recover sight to the blind, and set liberty to those that are broken. We as your kingdom representative is seeking your face for the day to help us on this journey, to continue to do the works that you were sent to do, and that we will do more in your mighty name, Christ Jesus. For you said in your word, Christ Jesus, that you say unto you, he that believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because you go to the Father. So today, I believe in your name, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, the Son of Man, and the Lamb of God. Jesus, our first love, the one who is the first and the last, the beginning and the end, as we come to ask you to forgive us, and as we repent unto you, saying we want to do it your way and not our own way. So give us the energy to do this once more, to walk with pure gold that is offered to us, the virtue of our spirit to be clothed in righteousness, and the vision that we need with the necessary provision today, that we will continue to dine with you and you with us today, that we will be hot for the gospel as we ought to. So let us renounce those things that is keeping us in a lukewarm state of mind and let us loose the righteous mindset to do your will for thy kingdom come in freedom today. We bless you, Jesus Christ. We love you, Jesus Christ, for you are the one who holds the seven candlesticks. So today grant to us that freedom that we need in your name. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you, my brothers and sisters. You have an awesome and wonderful day.